Welcome back to Sam's Rally Cross Adventures in Dirt 4. My name is Ricky. Today, we're going to be taking on the RX2 trophy in a car that we very thankfully won last week because I don't think we could have afforded to buy it. Today, we're going to be racing in France, Portugal, and Sweden. All right, let's get started. So, today, I thought I'd talk a little bit about Sam's history in the racing game. So, when he was 18... He did some, he, he, he uh, made a little bit of his name for himself in the rally cross world. Um, that was a terrible turn. Uh, this car sucks. And I don't have any way to upgrade it. And yeah. So, um, anyway, so when he was 16, his parents bought him a Ford Focus, which was his first car. He and his dad tuned it to be a little bit more, a little bit better, a little bit more like a, a proper racing car. Um, and he, uh, he, uh, he bought, or no, sorry. He went to a, uh, um, he started taking, when he turned 18, he started taking it to a couple of different tracks in Texas that don't exist in our world but um, sort of exist in, that do exist in, in his universe. Um, that are, they're not specifically Rallycross, but they have like Rallycross days where they sort of set the track up to be a little bit more Rallycross. Um, and, uh, well, this is going real good. Um, <laughs> so, uh, he actually, his first, um, not his first, but up in Dallas, there's, there was a track in Dallas that he actually set a, uh, a track record for fastest lap for that particular configuration of the track. And some teams took notice and a, te a team signed him to be, uh, one of their rallycross drivers. So in the, uh, so in his first event, he qualified with ease like with ease but then shortly after not but then and then in the semifinals he won he won the semifinals by two seconds um and then he but unfortunately he lost the uh the finals um he was neck and neck for the last two laps with the second place guy with the with the guy who eventually won rather um because he he did finish in second and he just pulled the the guy who won the race just pulled ahead of him in just the last second literally right before they crossed the finish line and he just he just ugh, it aided him just a little bit but crucially didn't bother him enough to like stop racing right so he continued to race event after event he would finish in the the, the top two uh, or win consistently 10 events down and he won uh, six of them and came in second in the other four um, so he was making good money I mean he made enough money to at least pay for the majority of his college if not all of his college you know if he chose to do that instead of um, also I swear I didn't lower the difficulty it kind of feels like I have a little bit but I swear I haven't um, but, uh, also we didn't race this track last week, so, um, just FYI. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he was, he was doing real good. He was just loving, loving it. And, you know, I mean, he was an 18 year old that had a ton of money. Thankfully, his parents were smart enough to um, kind of make him be smart with his money, put it in investments. So he had plenty of money. You know, even if everything went, you know, to crap in, I don't know, the next race, for instance, at that, by that point, he had enough money invested that he was going to be set for at least a little while while he tried to figure out, you know, what else he was going to do with his life. If, for instance, the next race, something just awful happened, or at least in his mind awful happened so i just want everyone to see real quick that um we did only just barely win that race we won it by about four tenths of a second so that's 
really tight. Okay, so we're in Portugal again. Uh, we were in Portugal last week. Wait for it to stay green. Uh, but this is the full track circuit instead of the, um, uh, come on guys. If you're going to make the turn, make it a little bit faster. You don't need to slow down so much instead of the junior or clubman circuit, whichever one it was last week. Um, although for some reason, this guy still thinks I'm going to finish in second. Apparently the Joker Delta is so significant, even though it's not. Woohoo! Drive it on the side! Yeah. Yeah. Um, now I remember this circuit. Because this part's in dirt, which isn't that big of a deal. Uh, except when you're behind people and uh, can't see where you're going. That's not fun at all. Okay, now he thinks we're going to be in sixth place, which makes a little more sense. So... That's fine. Um, so this really sucks, so we got to make some time up. Let's go. Uh, so anyway, as I foreshadowed at the end of last week's, or of, of the last race, uh, he, um, you know, this being in last place thing kind of sucks. I can't see what I'm doing. And I really wish these, um, Yeah, nope, that was terrible. No, I'm going to push hard, and we're going to in the next two laps. Come on, we can do this. You know, I was complaining last week, um, at least in my head, I don't know if I ever said it out loud, about how like the shorter tracks didn't give you enough time to really make... A dent in the race. Um, yeah, the longer tracks aren't really helping much either. Okay. So. Thing is, the first place guy has not taken his Joker. We just dropped down. But the Joker here is a joke. Er. And it does not look good. For Sammy here. Although we are only in fourth place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, push! Yes! Oh my goodness, that was so tense. Oh my goodness, that was so tense. Okay, hopefully this will go better. We got two extra laps. Um, let's just, yeah. So, let me tell you about the 11th event that Sam did. Come on, dude. So, he gets out there. And there's four qualifying heats. And he's sailing through qualifying. Sailing through it. Just like normal. And he gets into the... Um... The fourth heat. And he has a minor altercation with another vehicle. No one's hurt. He literally just kind of sideswiped him briefly. You know, it happens. No, again, no one was really severely hurt. Like, just some cuts and bruises. Some scrapes. And, um, so he, uh... The nice thing is that no one in front of me has taken their Joker yet. The downside is that the Joker doesn't slow you down that much in this one. I mean, enough that the guy who finished in uh, fourth place was the guy in first place before he went to take his Joker. Um, that's how tight that race was. Anyway, so, he has a scrape. And he is just shook by this. He does not really know how to deal with it. It's just like that. What just happened right there. That was it. 
In fact, I'm not really even certain that the other guy had a scrape. He did. He had... He got a little, little, little scratch on him from his car. Um... But, you know, the car was, you know, had the scratch on it too, I guess. You think of it that way too. Um... So he, uh... He, uh, uh... So... Oh, am I? Ugh, I hate that guy. I hate that guy so much. The nice thing is they still haven't taken their jokers. So I still got time to make a make a move. And so he gets out in the semifinals and comes in third in the semifinals. Just barely scrapes into the semifinals against people he should have been wiping the floor with. Just awful racing and he um he uh he gets into the final and is dead last it's not even close it's like there was something wrong with his car that is how bad it was um moving to second or third place gonna move into second here in a second <laughs> get it um and then it just started falling apart for him i mean his team did stick by him after the race they were like okay i mean you know good he still came in sixth you know overall but it wasn't it wasn't a good final you know race um i mean i don't doubt that but i i They really waited for a long time to take their jokers. Is that a strategy that they shouldn't be doing? Yeah, probably. Because what did it let me do? It let me slowly work my way up, or Sam's way up, rather, to the top. Anyway, so his, his team stood by him, but the next couple of events he did, he didn't even qualify for. And again, it was... If he, if he wasn't dead last, he was second to last. It was like five or six events. And his team was finally like, look... Yeah, uh, we just gotta, we just gotta dump you. Second place, though. Second place. So, um, we're in Sweden. We were in Sweden last week, too. This was the track that I took the Joker on twice last week. Although we are doing the Clubman circuit, not the, um, the, ow. Not the, uh, um, the junior circuit or the full circuit. Uh, so this is fun. I hate this track so much. I hate this track so much. Anyway, so after Sam's failed to qualify, after Sam failed to qualify in several events, his um his team fired him, which is part of the reason why he wanted his own team here instead of racing for a team because he didn't want to get fired um for performance issues, you know. We, I, can, can you blame the guy? So, um, yeah, have I mentioned that I hate this track? I hate it so much. And I am uh, very nervous that we will not qualify for the finals here. Um, so Sam, he took it in stride, admittedly. You know, he got fired. He had the money, as I said. And he, um, oh, am I? Am I fighting for fourth position at the moment? I'm also fighting for third position at the moment, too. Come on! Where's the nitro when you need it? Come on! Push, 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 push! Well, that was bad. Uh, that may not matter. Oh, I definitely gained an advantage by cutting the corner there. Not just a position. I mean, this is, this is neck and neck, and also again I corner cut. Um, so he went back to school, or he went to school. He didn't go back to school. He went to school. He hit me. Stop saying that. 
Are you saying that because he hit me? Because that would make more sense. And I'm just now realizing that is probably what you mean. Um, so we'll have to see what the stewards say in terms of um, potentially, you know, making me lose a bit. We'll have to see. Yes. That's great news. That's fantastic news. Oh, I hate this track. I mean, the nice thing is this is it. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna slow down a bit. Just a bit. And take my Joker first. What's this guy doing? Taking his Joker first too? Does he not know that's my move? Um... Anyway, so Sam, he went to school. He met a nice girl. They got married right after they, right after they graduated. Um, great. Another steward's inquiry for corner cutting. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm not racing particularly good. If I come in sixth in this race, I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, oh, I just, I don't know if I have made this clear enough. I hate this track. I mean, now that wasn't my fault. That was not my fault. Anyway, so he had, you know, he has two kids. He has a, a girl and a boy. They're um, lovely. And a couple years ago, about three years ago now, uh, don't forget I told you he was 30. He's 33. He's about to turn 34, actually. Um... <laughs> uh, so, uh, around his 30th birthday, his, uh, his daughter came to him and asked him what this trophy that she found, she found this trophy in his, um, office. And he, uh, you know, he looked at it and he was like, oh yeah, this is when I used to race cars. I used to be a rallycross driver. And she goes, why'd you quit? And... He really didn't know what to tell her, so he just said, well, he had an accident, and, you know, he felt like it wasn't worth doing it anymore, which wasn't exactly true, but it was kind of true. Um, admittedly, you know, he wasn't uh, the world's most stable driver after his incident. Um, so, he... Uh, Uh, but yeah, so he was telling, and that's, that's when he was like, you know what, though? Well, I mean, that might happen. So he decided, you know, now is as good a time as any. He was financially stable. You know, he was able to, to, to get some money borrowed from some people. It doesn't really matter. I'm absolutely certain this time they're going to penalize me for corner cutting. Which is completely allowed in regular rally. I think it's crap that it's not allowed in rallycross. Like, I understand... I'm more concerned with not coming in last place right now than I am... A second ago, it was three seconds. Now it's two tenths. It's almost like you're not actually paying attention to what is happening on the track. Uh, so that's why he, he got back into to racing, was because his, his daughter was like, I want to see you race. And so she did, or so he did. So, you know, he did exactly kind of what he did last time. He got a car. He, um, he did some races. Eventually he wound up buying the car that he used last week. That we used, we used last week's fifth place. Let's see, hang on. Excellent news. Probably because I finished in fifth. So this is slightly depressing. A fifth place finish here in Sweden, which is fine because that track sucked. On the plus side, 
we still won the championship. So that was the RX Trophy. Next week, we'll take on the Cross Car Challenge or the Groupie Rally Cross Cup. I don't know which one we'll do. I don't own a car that works in either of them, so we'll see what happens. This has been Sam's Rallycross Adventures. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Dirt 4.